Hello, and welcome to this training session for the 2021-22 school year. Today we have a message for you from the first responders and campus officers dedicated to your safety. Preparation saves time, which in turn can save lives. It just makes good sense that we prepare now so we can avoid panic later if ever disaster strikes. As first responders, our goal is to help keep you and your campus safe. Today, we want to help ensure that you are as prepared as possible for potential threats or other emergencies that you may face. On average, police and fire department response times are under five minutes. So gaining yourself and others a few minutes of time can make all the difference. Whether an active shooter, fire, or natural disaster, experience tells us the better we plan for today, the better prepared we are for tomorrow. No single response fits all active shooter or understand that situations. So it is essential that students and staff know their options and are prepared to act decisively to protect themselves and others. Active shooter incidents are generally over within minutes of law enforcement arriving on scene. So we must be mentally prepared to deal with an active shooter situation until the time law enforcement arrives. In an emergency, proper training will help you perform rather than panic. The first of these options is to run. Leave your belongings behind Help others escape if possible. Prevent individuals from entering an area where the active shooter may be. Keep your hands visible to police officers. Follow instructions of any police officers. Do not attempt to move wounded people and call 911 when you are safe. Hide if evacuation is not possible. Find a place to hide where the active shooter is less likely to find you. Your hiding place should be out of the active shooter's view to prevent an active shooter from entering your hiding place. Lock the door. Blockade the door with heavy furniture. Provide protection if shots are fired in your direction. Not trapped or restrict your options for movement. Turn off any source of noise, i.e. radios, televisions. Hide behind large items, i.e. desk, cabinets. Remain quiet and calm. Dial 911 to alert the police of the active shooter's location. And lastly, fight. Attempt to disrupt and or incapacitate the active shooter by taking action against the active shooter as a last resort and only when your life is in immediate danger. Act as aggressively as possible against him or her, throwing items and improvising weapons such as fire extinguishers, chairs, staplers, etc. Yelling, committing to your actions. 911, what is your emergency? There's a shooter. Where are you located? Rancho Cucamonga High School. Please help me. Call 911 and provide as much information as possible. Slow down and be calm. Use simple language to describe what you see and hear. Give information on people who are wounded, their location, the number of people with you, and remember, don't hang up, even if you can't talk, unless instructed by the dispatcher to end the call. If you can do so safely, remember that you can make a difference and save a life. You can access the Stop the Bleed kits located in every AED compartment on campus. S is for Stop the Bleed. You can stop the bleed using direct pressure, applying a tourniquet, or packing a wound if you are trained to do so. To properly apply a tourniquet, unwrap it after removing it from the Stop the Bleed kit. Then pull it over the affected limb and tighten it above the wound. Wrap the tourniquet around the limb by pulling it away, then back towards you, assuring that it wraps correctly. Then, twist the handle to tighten the tourniquet and secure its position once it's completely tightened. And lastly, sling the excess strap over the handle and put the white strap across from it to secure the position. To correctly pack a wound, first unwrap the gauze and wrap a little ball at the end of it. Insert the balled up side of the gauze into the wound. Then, while being careful that one finger remains applying pressure inside of the wound, begin to further pack the gauze in. It's extremely important that one finger remain in the wound at all times. When completely packed, you can remove your fingers from the wound and ball the excess cloth in your hand, then continue to apply pressure. A is for airway. Any person or student that is unconscious and unresponsive, roll them on their side to protect their airway. To aid someone who has sustained a neck wound, first wrap the neck starting from the front, then back around. 
Next, turn them onto their side and pull the cloth through the underside of their arm. And wrap it back around the back of their neck. Repeat the process until the cloth has run out and lay the injured person back down. V. V is for vented chest seal. Cover every hole to your torso from your belly button to your neck, front, sides, and your back. To aid someone who has suffered an injury to their back or torso, flip their body so that you can properly treat the wound. Next, remove the occlusive dressing from the Stop the Bleed kit and remove it from its packaging as seen in the video demonstration. Pull the red tab away from the clear lining and then begin to apply it to the affected area similarly to how you would apply a bandage. Ensure that the entire area is covered. E. E is for exposure. We want you to keep your patients and the students that are injured warm. Do that by covering them with the hyperthermia blanket inside the Stop the Bleed kits or any other items around you that can help you keep them warm. The following announcement will indicate a potentially dangerous situation, such as an active shooter or an armed intruder on campus. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. If you are out of class during the passing period, lunch, before or during school, quickly travel to the closest available room to take cover. No students are let out of classrooms during a lockdown. No students will be released until after the following statement. The lockdown is now canceled. If doors are not locked, Lock the door at the first sign of an emergency. Turn out all lights, take cover on the floor away from windows and doors, check email, text, remind app, etc. for more information if instructed to do so. Security or administration will lock entrances to the buildings if possible. Our best option is to prevent an incident before it occurs. Be aware of your surroundings and report suspicious behavior to staff members, campus officers, and SROs. If you see something, say something. Shut gates and ensure others do as well. Protect your campus and lock classroom doors during instruction. Pay attention to others who may be exhibiting danger signs, such as increasingly erratic, unsafe, or aggressive behaviors. Hostile feelings of injustice or perceived wrongdoing. Changes in performance, sudden and dramatic changes in life or in personality. Observable grievances with threats and plans of retribution. If you see something, say something. Do not ignore concerning behavior. Direct or indirect threats in person or social media. Immediately report concerning behavior or suspicious activity to a staff member or call 911 if it is an emergency. Otherwise, you can share concerns by using the WeTip anonymous text reporting app. Click on the school safety tab on Canvas and district website or by calling 1-800-WeTip to anonymously report information. There's shots, shots fired at Rancho Hype. We need help, please send help. Hey, I hear shots. I'm at Rancho Cucamonga High School right now. 911, what's your emergency? There's a, there's a shooter in the school. Help. We're, all We're all in this together. 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 We're all in this together.